Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Manus Defense. Today I'm here to talk to you about some low round count drills. Uh, as you guys know, ammo is really hard to come across these days. There's definitely a shortage. Uh, prices have spiked when you even do find it. Uh, so because of that, a lot of people are neglecting their time and going to the range. They're not taking the time to go and practice their manipulations and really learn these firearms that they're buying or to even practice with the ones that they already own. So because of that, I wanted to show you guys a couple low round count drills. These are nothing too crazy, nothing too super involved. Um, all you really need is two magazines. Realistically, if you have three though, that is ideal. Okay, so with this though, we're going to incorporate our draw as well. Um, some people haven't really practiced or felt the need to use the holster draw. And if you don't, that's fine. You can always start from a low ready. So all you have to do is present the gun to the target, get a quick sight picture, bring it down to a compressed low ready. Or if the range doesn't allow that, you can start with the gun on the table. Okay, so it just depends on where you're at um, and what the facility house rules are. Okay, if they allow you to use a holster, I highly recommend that you practice using a holster of some sort. Um, again, use something that's molded for the gun, not some universal fit holster. Get something specific to your firearm, okay? So, you have two types of draws. Typically, you have ones that are a little bit more organic, and you have ones that are a little bit more mechanical. Um, I found that from recording myself, I was a little bit more mechanical in my motions, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, that's when you break down your draw to four positions, right? As you practice more and more, you might find that your, your draw becomes a little bit more organic, where it's not really robotic and stopping at each position. Um, Instructors teach both types. Again, it comes down to what's most comfortable for you. Uh, I don't think there's really a right answer there because at the end of the day, it's whatever gets you from point A to point B the fastest, okay? So to go fast though, we have to crawl, right? So we have to crawl, walk, run. With the holster draw, uh, we're gonna break down to four positions real quick for you. So the first position is we're getting our support hand in towards our body so that way it's not floating out here into the unknown. So we bring it back in. This dominant hand is gonna go down to the firearm and whatever you grab is what you get. So make sure that your draw is consistent, right? So I get to the gun. At position two, I'm drawing the gun straight up and I'm rotating at the nipple line. Three, I'm pairing my hands here at the center of the chest and four, I'm extending my arms out, okay? As we become more proficient, we're gonna find that we're dropping our finger into the trigger, right? Into the trigger guard between position three and four, so at full extension, we're already firing. As you start out a little bit slower though, you might wanna just practice pushing out, getting your sights, and then dropping your finger onto the trigger, okay? So to show you what it looks like in motion, it's here. Right? That's gonna be our draw, okay? As you get a little faster, you're gonna find that you're firing at full extension. So it's here, full extension, right? Again, this just comes from a lot of practice, a lot of consistency. So, uh, when we go and add the actual live fire component to this, right? What we're doing is we're doing emergency reloads and tactical reloads today. An emergency reload is when the slide locks to the rear, right? That indicates that the either A, the magazine is empty, or B, there's definitely some sort of malfunction. Normally during malfunction though, it's not gonna be at full extension, right? If it is and it's not locked back, then that's a whole nother can of worms of stripping the magazine, all those types of things. But for us, an emergency reload is very simple. Either A, you're working off a table, or B, you're working off of a magazine pouch, it doesn't matter. When the gun goes to full lock, all we're doing is we're gonna bring the gun back into our workspace, and if you can't reach your magazine release, you can always use your support hand to pull the, the gun into your uh, thumb, right? You're turning the gun into your thumb, and you're hitting your magazine release, letting it fall to the ground, not caring what happens. You bring your fresh magazine up, notice how I'm indexing, my index finger is on the front of the magazine pointing it so I can point it towards the gun, right? So I point it at the magazine well, insert it, close the slide either with my thumb or I go over the top and do a power stroke, present the gun again, okay? So, emergency reloads, we don't care what happens to the extra magazine. Let me get down here and get this guy, right? Let's do that one more time, okay? So. We're up here, we're firing, the slide locks open, right? Bang, 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 locks open, dump the magazine, fresh mag in, present the gun again. Okay, that's all it is. Now, during a tactical reload, it's slightly different. During a tactical reload, what we actually wanna do is we wanna retain the magazine that we have in the firearm. So let's say we have a 15 round magazine, we shoot seven rounds. Before we go into the next room or before uh, someone comes at us again and we have a lull in the fight, which you have to assess yourself, uh, we might say, okay, this is the perfect time to top off. So to do that, there are two ways to do this, okay? One, your gun is gonna be in battery when you're doing this, okay? So, we have a loaded gun, there's one in the chamber, let's say there's only five in the magazine. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to either A, bring this magazine out of the gun, down to my belt line, grab a fresh mag and bring it up, or B, I'm gonna reach down to my belt line, bring a fresh magazine up to the gun. So, we'll go with the first one first, I guess, right? So if I take this magazine out, I have one in the chamber, five in the magazine. I bring this down to my waistline, replace the magazine on the belt line, right? Bring this fresh magazine up to the gun, 
boom. All right, so now we're at 16 rounds, okay? Now let's rewind and do that again. Now the other option is if I go to the belt line first, okay? So if I go down to the belt line, I can grab this magazine of 15 rounds, open up my hand, put the five rounds in the bottom, 15, now we're at 16 on the gun. This magazine then goes back to the belt line, okay? One might be faster or more proficient for you, but you have to assess and practice both techniques to really find what is the most efficient for you at the end of the day. So we're gonna jump into the drill here. We're gonna do some emergency reloads, and then we're gonna go into do some tactical reloads. Again, these are really low round count drills. So we're gonna start with three magazines, one round each. Again, that's an emergency reload. So, slide lock's open. We're just trying to get this gun back up in the fight, get it up and running. Let's move on to the tactical reload. With the tactical reload, what we can actually do is we can actually add more rounds to the magazines. So let's go ahead and do uh, three rounds in each magazine, something like that, okay? And this drill, you could actually even just get away with just using two mags if you wanted. Or we're gonna use three to make it a little more complicated. All right, so here we go. On the tactical reload, we're gonna draw. We go, we present, we fire one round. Gun goes bang, okay? Again, we wanna to top the gun off now. So we've assessed the fight, it's done. We're coming back in. We reach down to the waistline, we grab a fresh magazine, open the hand up, switch, insert, and we're good to go. Get a second sight picture, still good to go, okay? So again, you can continue to repeat this again it just depends on the range you're at some ranges don't allow holster work some ranges don't even allow reloads which is kind of absurd most ranges will allow you to at least do a reload okay so let's do it again fire fights over bring it back tactical reload in the workspace As you guys notice here on this magazine, I actually went empty on the one. So as soon as my tactical reload drill fails on me and it turns into an emergency, just get the gun up and running. Don't stop and say, oh, let me fix this and get it all prepped again. Same thing with this magazine. As I brought this magazine out to put a fresh mag in, I noticed this one's empty. So at this point, this drill is over, right? If not, and I have the gun that's loaded, I can go ahead and I can top off this magazine or I can grab the other magazines if I wanted. At that point though, I really wouldn't worry about getting the other magazine until I finish out what I've got in the gun. Again, though, it just depends on the cycle that you want to do in terms of how you want this drill to work for you in your favor. So, we'll go ahead and we'll top it off. We'll just put one in here. All right, guys, so I hope this uh, short video helped give you a couple ideas for what you could do at your next range trip, whether you're using index cards, whether you're using a full-size B27 target or whatever might be in between. Uh, hopefully, this gives you something to actually practice with at the range. Uh, we'll also be dropping a video on some dry fire techniques for at home. Until then, I'm Ryan with Manus Defense. Stay safe. Shoot straight.